Ter uh, Sheriff Tony Wickersham uh, standing by his staff in the face of troubling video brought to light by the local four defenders this week. That's uh, the latest in a string of medical incidents involving jail inmates asking for medical help but not getting it. Jennifer Myers died when a virus turned into sepsis. That was July of 2013 during a 30 day sentence for failure to pay child support. Skip ahead June 2014. It's David Stajewski died at the end of a brutal 17 day drug withdrawal. His sentence also that was 30 days and that was for failure to pay traffic tickets. And most recently, Jessica Preston, the mom sent to jail while eight months pregnant, forced to give birth inside her cell. Local Ford defender Kevin Dietz sitting down today with Sheriff Wickersham. Uh, is he troubled by the video that you've been showing us, Kevin? The sheriff looked at the video and he says he has no problem. He's 100% standing by his staff. The sheriff says Macomb County has a budget and it does not allow for a doctor to work on Sundays in the jail. Baby Elijah was born on a Sunday, so his mother saw a nurse three times over a seven hour span that day and each time the nurse said the baby isn't coming but of course we all know that baby did come it was born on the floor of the jail cell tonight tony wickersham defends his staff two uh, lpns were working that day they were assessing her they were on the phone with the doctor uh, monitoring contractions and uh, information is that at that time the baby started to come uh, they took her off of the uh, the cot, which is close to the wall, put her on a floor, on a mattress, and the baby was delivered. But we both know that she was there in the morning around 7. She was there again at 11.30. She was there again at 1, this time with blood on her leg. And still, the baby wasn't born until 2.45. The hospital is what, uh, two minutes away, three minutes away? Two, about three minutes away. Though, I don't have the medical records. Um, I know the mother has the medical records. Um, I think that you know, in all fairness, maybe those medical records should be brought out and let the people see what the, the medical staff did each time uh, she was brought down. Could we have more medical staff? Could we have a full-time doctor on staff 24 hours a day? Obviously, you know, that's gonna cost taxpayers more money to increase that type of contract. Have you requested those things? No. Why? Why? Have I, we put it out to contract. We had one bid. This is the company. Um, it's, it's within our budget. Um, we would have to look at that at the next time up. The sheriff says there are 1,200 inmates inside the Macomb County Jail on any given day, and there are very, very few problems. He is not going to second guess his medical staff over a baby being born behind bars. Kevin Dietz, Defenders. Well, Kevin, though, if we move beyond this most recent event and then include the two deaths that I mentioned earlier that you've reported on, are we seeing going to see any changes in policy at the jail? Yes, our investigations are getting results. We are already seeing more inmates being taken to the hospital during medical emergencies than ever before. In addition, as a result of our stories, the county has commissioned a study to look at better ways to take care of mentally ill and drug addicted inmates. The results of that study will be presented in April and it's expected that it will make conditions at the jail safer for those who work there and those who are housed there. Yeah. All right, Kevin.